All right, hello YouTube for another wallet video. Um, this one, um, I'll be try to be quick and brief about it. Um, it's been a little bit uh, since I uploaded a video on wallets, but uh, this is the most recent one I have, and I didn't do a video on it, um, and I definitely should. Um, it is a great, fantastic wallet. Uh, this particular wallet is from Three Sons Leather Company. Um, it is, I think, a vegetable tan, uh, but it is a Ghost Cherry Mitchell wallet. So it starts off on kind of this black uh, and fades into this uh, this red color over time. And it is just really soft. Um, it kind of has um, a, similar, a similar design, but not the same design uh, as this company, actually. Uh, but I, I like this one. I like this company. I bought from them before. Um, Three Sons Leather Company, check them out. Um, but anyways, uh, today I wanted to show you guys this new wallet that I just got in. This is a Craft & Lore wallet. This is my first Craft & Lore wallet. They're pretty, they're pretty well known, I think. Um, they have, you know, a bunch of good stuff, you know, uh, belts, uh, wallets. Um, I think they partner with some other people to do uh, bags and, and boots and, and that kind of thing um, but they're out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I think they've been around. Their packaging says 2014 so uh, they've been around for a little while now um, but I saw this wallet. I follow one of their pages and I just I, I had to have it and it's actually a little bit uh, reminiscent of this one. Not the design but the type of leather um, where it is uh, you know one thing and then it kind of fades into something else so uh, I'm not I'm not crazy into the packaging um, Typically, but I have to say just like right out of the uh, Right out of the gate. This is kind of a breath of fresh air. This is a pretty big um, Packaging uh, that came with it. I mean, you know the wallets not obviously this this whole thing um, But it's it's kind of nice to get something a little bit different. Um, it had this nice uh, pull tab uh, it, it's, it's not a big deal, but it, it's just something different. So when you're buying lots of these wallets, uh, something different is, is kind of all good to good to have. So, um, but then of course it does come in this little linen pouch, uh, which is a okay. Um, pretty much every wallet I've bought uh, has come in that pouch, except for uh, the pop off ones. So, but anyways, da 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 da. Here it is bam there it is this is the insider uh let me one sec okay the lunar ghost insider wallet now this is obviously a step up from as far as like this is more of a, a minimalist wallet uh this one i think is meant to carry a few more cards um, but as soon as I saw them uh, make a post about this, uh, I had to have it. This is It just looked really neat, and I really wanted to try it out and, and carry it. Um, this is actually <clears throat> a, I believe it's a black leather, but it has, like, this <clears throat> has a white uh, wax coating. Um, the leather itself, I think, comes from, it says on their website it is a unique Italian leather. I assume it's vegetable tan. I assume it's the buttero, um, like the ghost, um, where it fades into, you know, from white into black. So on the spots where, you know, you get most of the wear and tear on the wallets, that's where, you know, you're really going to start to see some of that black come through. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is, this is really nice. It's a lot more, it's, it's pretty functional. I, I really have always liked the design of this particular wallet um let's see craft and lore quality handmade heritage goods cordelaine city north idaho so yeah um go check them out uh, they have a lot of good stuff um but yeah so I've, i really like their their little maker's mark here too the axe and i think uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be like a Swedish axe, like one of the, like, it has something to do with like being an old tool. Um, but I, I, I could be wrong. 
but either way I, I like the axe it's kind of actually uh, I think engraved in there or embossed is the right word I don't know um, but anyways it's nice it has so you have this uh, front pocket here you got a pocket behind here and a pocket behind here it's meant to hold a uh, cash fold it once um, and then you've got of course this pocket back here uh, which you can use for a uh, quick job, you know, business cards or, or things like that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be really, really nice. It's so soft too. I mean, that's what I love about using like the, the, <clears throat> uh, like the butteros, the vegetable tan leathers. Um, they're just so freaking soft there. This, the smell is not what I found. I don't think it's as pungent as like your average, like, Harwing Chrome XL wallet, um, but they wear in really, really well, and you can, they still have a smell, don't get me wrong, I mean, it's, it's it still smells great, um, but, but anyhow, this is going to wear in really nice, um, I don't know if I'm going to carry it in my back pocket or my front pocket yet, um, let's see, let's look at this real quick though, so the stitching is kind of thick, it's a little bit thicker than what I normally see. You can kind of see, you know, how it's kind of already kind of getting the marks on the side, which is a-okay, it's supposed to. Um, but yeah, this is the Craft and Lore Insider Wallet. Um, let's see if I can put a couple things in here real quick and see kind of what that looks like. Okay, so there's the cash folded once. I kind of rushed that in there, um, but closes really nice. No issues there. So I kind of feel weird. I feel like this, it, I almost feel like this pocket, I don't know, to, to me, I feel like it should be on this side, like the front, um, not necessarily the back, but anyway, um, let's get some... You can tell I haven't done one of these in a while. Okay, there we go. So we got a few cards up in this slot, which I think is ample enough. Uh, cards behind it, cash folded once, or in my case, one piece folded once and the other quartered. Um, and then a business card uh, in the back, uh, which I can easily add more. This is just, this is a really nice wallet. It's going to wear in great. Um, so this video is getting kind of long. Uh, this is just kind of a hands-on show. Um, this is a limited run, so that's kind of why I wanted to show it off. It's it's a nice wallet, and design and the makers are really great, so I want to show it off. But uh, the fact that this specific one, uh, they say it, it's a limited run. I think it's already sold out on their website for uh, the rest of the wallets. <clears throat> but... Uh, in Craft and Lore, they do that a lot. They have a different, a lot of different leathers, a lot of different um, types of leathers and colors and stuff coming on their wallets, you know, and they'll run it for a limited time. It, it really is smart, and it makes for a great marketing, makes for a great collector's appeal. So, like, on their pages and stuff, you'll see people, you know, selling, like, these limited supply um, uh, colors and types that they have gotten their hands on. Um, so... Uh, maybe someone will be selling one of these if you are looking, um, but uh, I, I think they will bring it back eventually. It's just something you have to kind of keep a lookout for. But anyways, that's it. That is 
the Craft and Lore Insider wallet. This is the Lunar Ghost uh, color. Uh, can't wait to wear this this thing in. Um, but yeah, Craft and Lore. Go check them out. I'll put their uh, their information uh, down below. So check them out. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video.